So once you have your animation ready in Adobe Character Animator, you can export them in various ways. So let us go over here on the file to start exporting and then go to export. And over here you can see that there's different options that you can use to export out your animation. So let's go on to the top option right here and it says video via Adobe Media Encoder. So let me just click on this and what it does is it opens up, it prepares the scene and then it allows you to save this in an MP4 format as you can see. So I can go on to my desktop and just save this in. And now it prepares the scene and over here what happens is that it says uh, please enter uh, like start queue to uh, render it out in Adobe Media Encoder. So it sends the data over to Adobe Media Encoder like this and in from Adobe Media Encoder we're able to uh, just give this up. So you can see right here in the Media Encoder you have this and you can select from different presets right here or you can go over here and set out specific settings to export out things. So just like this uh, I'm just going to select YouTube 1080p Full SD, which is the format that we selected right here as simply known as MP4. Hit the Start Queue button right here and what happens is that it starts rendering out just like this. So over here you can see that the rendering is happening right here. So this will take a time, take a bit of time. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. And now it has almost completed rendering out as you can see and it has been completed. So what I can do is I can just minimize this and on my desktop you can see that I have my video file right over here. So there's the character walking around on that side as you can see right there and then there's the other scene right here. But as I go forward uh, you can see that there's the character but right from over here there's blank. That is because we did not set out the in and out point for the rendering. So let us do exactly that. So for that, I'm here in my character animator and this is the end of the scene right here. After there, uh, this, there's nothing. So what I'm going to do is, there you go, the character walks in and right over here, I want to end the rendering scene. So what I can do is, let me just zoom out. You can see this right here. This is where the rendering actually ends up. So for that, I'm just going to go around right over here and then I'm going to set work area to the end of uh, playhead right over here just like that or I can go right over here on till this section and set area to the end of playhead. So only this part is selected for exporting as you can see not the whole part right here. So now if I were to go to file and if I were to go to export video uh, via media encoder then it'll only export that part out. So I'm just going to go for master scene 2 right here. I'm going to hit on save and then you can see that there's another list right here. So I'm just going to hit the play button just like this and it'll start rendering out right here. So now you can see that it is taking much less time because there's much more less scene to render. So let me just render this out. I'm going to fast forward this part. And here you can see that it has almost completed rendering and the rendering is complete. And now what you can do is just go up onto the desktop right over here and there's the video just like this. So the character walks onto the right just like that as you can see and pops up onto the next scene and over here right about here you can see that the scene ends just in about 25 seconds just like this and this is a video file that you can share with anyone in any way you like and that is how you can export video with adobe media encoder so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe